When you hear people talking about logging into their home networking equipment, more often than not, they're referring to their router. But that's not the only home networking device that you can log into. The other device I'm referring to here is our long forgotten modem. So in today's episode from Network From Home, I'm going to be explaining how you log into your modem settings. And as you'll see, there are a few different things you can do with your modem once you log into it. One key distinction I want to make here is this procedure is applicable if your modem and router are separate devices in your home network. In other words, you have a standalone specialized modem for your home network and also you have a standalone router as well. Now I've detailed the procedure for logging into your router settings so if you have one piece of home networking equipment and your modem and router are combined, that's the procedure that you'll want to follow. I will link to that video up above for anyone interested in that procedure. But let's get on with the procedure for logging into our modem settings. The first question that we need to answer when talking about logging into our modem settings is where we need to go in the first place to get to the login page. In order to answer that question, we can go to the device itself. On your modem, usually on the bottom of the device, there will be an informational sticker that details the location that you need to go to in order to access your modem settings. So let's take a closer look at that now. Okay, here we are. We're looking at the sticker on the bottom of my modem. As you'll see here on the left-hand side, this is the information that's very important to us. Number one, default access. That's basically just detailing where you need to go to get to your modem settings. And as you can see there, it is HTTP 192.168.100.1. So you can get to your modem settings through any internet browser on any device. It can be a laptop, it can be an iPhone, it can be a tablet, whatever is easiest for you. Okay. Now that we have the IP address of your modem, let's get to your modem's login page. One quick note that I just want to mention here is that in order to access your modem settings, you need to be on the same Wi-Fi network or the same network that your modem is on. In other words, if you want to access your modem settings and it's the modem in your home network, you want to make sure that you're connected to your home network's Wi-Fi or with an ethernet cable to your home network router in order to access your modem settings. Okay, with that, let's follow the next steps here. So the first thing we wanna do, we wanna open up any internet browser. So I'll open up an internet browser. Okay, now that we have an internet browser open, we just wanna put in that IP address of our modem, HTTP 192.168.100.1. As expected, here is the login prompt for your modem settings. If you've never logged into your modem settings before, you can log in with a default username and a default password. In order to get that information, we need to go back to the sticker on our modem itself. As you can see, the username is admin and the password is password. Once you have either the default login credentials or if you know the login credentials for your modem, let's go ahead and enter that now to bring us into our modem settings. All right, after entering the username and password for your modem, you'll be brought to the home page for your modem settings. One very important item of note here is if you logged into your modem with your default username and default password, you're going to want to make sure that you change your modem's password to something that's unique something that only you know. It's a huge security risk to leave the default credentials for your modem settings because these credentials are published on the internet and just about anyone can look up what the default username and password is for your modem if you use the default settings. All right, with the security lecture aside, let's take a little look here at what we can see in our modem settings now that we've logged in. First and foremost, you can see that this is a great way to troubleshoot your modem. If you're having problems with your home internet connection, 
you can log into your modem settings as we've done here and you can see right here cable connection status good now if your modem was having problems you wouldn't get a status of good you would get some sort of prompt saying that either there's no connection to an internet service provider or something wrong is happening so right off the bat by doing this if i'm having problems with my home internet i can rule out my modem right away it looks like i have a solid connection so if i'm not having a problem with my modem maybe my issue is with my router and i can troubleshoot my router a little bit closely alternatively you can go into the advanced settings here and right here on the advanced settings you can do a few things remotely to your modem if you want you can reboot it or you can factory reset it if you want to return your modem to its original settings additionally if we go to administration here you can see we can look at the modem status we can change the password this is what you'll want to do if you have logged in with your default username and password to access your modem settings or you can look at an event log if you really want to troubleshoot what exactly is going on with your modem if you're having problems if you've logged into your router settings before it's quite clear that there are less changes you can make to your modem but honestly that's by design your modem is a very simple device its main goal is just to maintain a connection between your home and your internet service provider your router on the other hand has a lot more functions and features and that's why there are many more choices when it comes to customizing your router all right folks that's just about it as you can see that's a pretty straightforward process for logging into your modem settings the biggest issue is not many people do it in the first place simply because they overlook their modem everybody's always talking about logging into your router settings making customizations but you can see there are still a few things you can do by logging into your modem settings as well especially if you're having problems with your home internet connection if you have any questions about this information please feel free to drop a comment below if you found this information useful please give it a like this will ensure that the video gets shared with many more people and it gives other people the opportunity to learn about logging into their modem settings. If you like my videos overall, and you think it's useful information that you find helpful, please subscribe to the channel. There's going to be plenty more information similar to this topic that I'll be creating moving forward, and I'd love to have you join along for the ride. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.